In this Rhino tutorial, we'll learn how to model this ring with a bit like a wedding band with this twisted wire uh, on top. And I think here I use two braid, not three. It doesn't really matter. So let's get started. I'll get rid of this and go back to uh, shade it. So to design a ring like this, you could uh, use the side view, the right, and we could turn on grid snap. So we'd snap to the grid when we draw. And here I'll draw a line from uh, here to here, and another line from here to here, and that would help me with the drawing. So now I don't need the snap anymore. I'll go the second arc and I'll go from here to there and make sure you're not overshooting like this make sure you're underneath the tangent so you can zoom in if it snap press alt so somewhere here and pretty much the same thing here we could have made the this one a little bit lower actually Voila. Then I can get rid of this. Here I could do a fillet or chamfer. Let's try chamfer. Uh, I think we need to go small, like 0 0.2, 0 0.2. If you need to change, you go 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 again. Here and here. You have to test. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we'll use the same one here. If you're very, very picky, we could do a micro fillet here. But I th and this will be 0 0.05, but I think that's pushing a bit. That's more if you do a rendering, it will look nicer, you see? But that's a bit of over-engineering, I think. I'm right-clicking huh, to redo the tool. So here we can just select all of this, Control j to join, and then we can type mirror, zero, enter, hold shift to be orthogonal and then join this control J or type join we could do some minor little tweak like this so it's not as thick and that should be all right so then we do we go revolve to make the wedding band zero hold shift to tell him we're gonna turn it on the x-axis enter make sure it's zero enter 360 so now we actually have a wedding band, some sort of. I'll delete this because I don't really need it. Or you can press hide and then show if you want to see it. For the twisted wire, we'll do a circle, zero, and I'll make it somewhere here. I'll press alt and shift so you don't snap. And for now, I'll hide this. So what you could also do is move it uh, 50, and then you go minus 50 to bring it back. It's just easier to see this. So now I'll type uh, spiral to do the twisted uh, bread, and uh, a round curve. And I think number of turn 10 is okay. is okay. We could put more or less. And now he wants to know the height. So you could type 0.5. Or you could just eyeball it. So I'm pressing ALT so it doesn't snap. And now he wants the second one, which should be pretty much the same. Eyeball it or type it. You see I didn't do it the same, so it's ugly. So let's redo it. Uh, around curve. Uh, so it might be better to type it in. Uh, I think that would be one, actually. And one. So we don't need this anymore. I can make a pipe out of this. The thickness here, I'm not sure, we'll try 0.6. See that? That's pretty good. Did it. We only need this. And to make two or three, we go Alt to make a copy. We click here and we could try 15 degree. Perfect. And now we can do another one at minus 15 unless you just want to. Uh, I think I made a mistake here. Yeah, I've got two. What you can do is also eyeball it like this. 
you see that works fine too so here minus 50 to bring it back and we could do a boolean union but you don't have to it's already there uh, the main thing I don't like here is that this is too wide so we'll shrink it a little bit so it looks more like on the photo and if you want this on the floor you uh, select this and uh, 90 voilà.